guys welcome back okay I know it has been quite a minute since your girl has uploaded a video it's been quite a minute since I have filmed a video quite honestly it's been a quite a while since I've actually put on makeup like quite a while um but you know I don't really regret it I took a nice little hiatus <laughs> I don't think I've uploaded a video maybe since December. Did I put one up in January? I don't know. It might have been since December, but it's been a minute. I mean, quite frankly, just over the last year and a half, I would say, two years almost, I've been kind of in this space of just not really excited about creating content. I won't say not really excited about makeup because I still love makeup. I still am just like all for the makeups, okay? Everything beauty, everything makeup, I love it. But I think just the act of creating content, making videos, um, it got a little bit boring to me, a little bit redundant, and I felt like for you guys, for the viewers and stuff, it was kind of getting a little bit redundant and boring just because there's so many of us kind of talking about the same makeup, looking at the same makeup, sharing the same makeup, that for me, it got kind of boring. And so I definitely don't want to put out content that I'm not happy with, that I'm not really enjoying, and that I'm not super duper excited to bring to you guys. Um, because when I started YouTube, what, six years ago now? I believe I started in 2017. So yeah, about six years ago, um, I started doing my YouTube channel, honestly, to bring me out of a funk, to bring me out of like a really serious depression. And it did, <laughs> it did. I started creating content, doing makeup videos. At that time, really had no idea what I was doing, but I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and just get out here, put myself out there, have a good time, hopefully meet some people that are into the same thing that I'm into and that love makeup and just wanna have fun exploring, playing in it and learning how to use it, quite frankly, because I learned how to use makeup from YouTube. <laughs> so I wanted to just kind of find some people out there to do the same thing with. And here we are six years later, and I know that I have a great community of people that have watched me over the years and that I love dearly um, and really look forward to, you know, talking to you guys and seeing you guys and everything. But like I was saying over the last two years, it just wasn't the same. I think a lot of it for me started with, you know, a lot of the drama and beauty and things like that. And you try and stay away from it as much as possible because it's like, I'm just on here to have a good time. But when you're presenting new products, you know, showing new products, using new products, giving your opinion on products, whatever the brand does, you know, somehow it affects you and your, you know, channel, <laughs> whatever people, you know, don't like or find offensive or, you know, think, oh, well, this should have been disclosed or that should have been, you know, well, why are they using this ingredient? And it's like, I never wanted anything to do with any of that. <laughs> you know, I just wanted to buy some makeups and use some makeups and it truly made me happy and I enjoyed it and I loved it. But when so much other drama started coming into, you know, just the whole beauty community, the larger community and the smaller community, because it does trickle down, I just found myself really not enjoying it as much anymore. And so it was like, when you start having to think about, oh, well, should I use this palette? Or dang, did this brand do something? I don't even know. I'm not even keeping up with that. You know, like, you know, is this safe to use? Is this okay? You know, and I never wanted to be a review channel in the first place. I just wanted to use makeup and have a good time. But once you start to 
grow and you start to have different people who really like you and like your personality and love your presentation, they really start to value your opinion and they really start to look forward to hearing what it is that you have to say about certain products, whether you like it or not, you know? So I come to realize that and accept that and actually, you know, I love the fact that there are people out there that actually like my personality or like to hear my opinions or just like the same products that I like to purchase and want to know, you know, is this a good product or not? So that's something that you just have to come to accept and that's fine. That's perfectly fine. But for me, I still want to create content. I still want to use makeup. I still want to show all the beauty products and things that I like and that I enjoy um, just without all the stress, without all the pressure, without all the, you know, just drama that comes with it sometimes. So here I am. <laughs> now, the content that I want to create, honestly, is going to be a little bit different maybe than what you're used to, but maybe not because since I have done vlogging and I have done like, you know, the shop my stash and the different um, get ready with me and beauty tutorials and stuff like that, you know, it might feel a bit familiar, but just in a different type of format. So what I want to do, I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm still not sure exactly how I want to bring these videos together and kind of still share content with you guys, let you guys know what's going on with me and my life and what I'm liking and loving at the moment, but not have it so much of the same, the norm, what I'm always doing. You know, I want to kind of do it a little bit differently. So hopefully you guys will bear with me while I'm still figuring that out. I mean, aside from makeup, I love so many other things. I love beauty products. Of course, you guys know that, but I do. I love perfume. I love fashion. I love different hairstyles. I love shoes. <laughs> I love food. Um, lots of things that I find, you know, on Amazon and stuff. I love home decor as well. So I just want to share all of these things with you guys without feeling like I'm boring you to death. Okay. As well as boring myself. Okay. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of sit down in my beauty space, you know, just a different kind of vibe and touch bases with you guys, let you know kind of why it is that I stepped away, why it is that I haven't really been putting out the content like I used to because I really was going strong for a good four to five years and just so much of the makeup and beauty and everything. And when I started to vlog and realized that I like vlogging as well, it was like, you know, I gotta figure out a way to kind of fuse the two together in a way that still makes me happy and a way that I can create content that you guys will actually like to watch. <laughs> so please bear with me as I'm figuring this out. I mean, today's video, I do have this makeup look. I did go ahead and use the palette that uh, Nomad Cosmetics did come out with. Oh my gosh, it's like one of the most beautiful palettes that I have seen like ever. I, I really, really like this palette. It's gorgeous. Not just the shades. The shades are beautiful. Um, they have multi-chromes in here. Hello. And the packaging is just like something that they've never done. So I really love it. But anyways, I will go ahead and include just a small, short little snippet of me creating this makeup look for the makeup lovers in here. And I also want to share some of the latest items that I've purchased and that I have gotten just over, I don't know, the last month or so, just to kind of share with you guys. So if you see something you like, maybe it's something that you want to grab for yourself. So let's go ahead and jump into this video once again. For those of you who have been here, who have stuck by me, who are still checking for me, <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I mean, because inconsistency is like not cool, okay? I don't like it's inconsistency. So I'm gonna try to do better if I could figure this whole thing out. 
but thank you so much for sticking with me let's go ahead and jump into this video y'all okay you guys so i am actually in my closet room <laughs> but i wanted to show you guys this dress that hubby got me we went to a jazz festival the las vegas jazz festival this weekend on saturday with some amazing friends that we met out here lovely couple that we're definitely going to be doing so many more things with love them to death but this dress is so pretty to me it's like a gorgeous sundress as you can see it's a halter i just have it hanging on the door so you guys can see how long it is it's a super long maxi dress but at the jazz festival they had so many vendors out there a lot of black owned just selling beautiful dresses and wares and things like that now i didn't get a card from this company i think my husband did but let me see if the name because i think the name is actually in here somewhere okay so yeah here on the tag if you guys can see that hopefully you can see it so sultry shop and then that is the website yeah so you know they had some absolutely gorgeous dresses i couldn't tell you how much he paid for this I don't know, maybe about 50 bucks or something like that. I'm not sure, but it's gorgeous. And I just wanted to show you guys that <laughs> because it's so, so beautiful. And I cannot wait to put that on and wear it. I'll definitely let you guys see how it looks. But also from the same shop, you know, they kind of like paired these funky glasses with the dress. It's kind of like a green and orange toned pair of shades they're kind of like a very interesting shape but they're super cute so yeah they were like oh look this will look so tight you know with this dress and i actually think it will you can see the orange and green there in the light but yeah so i got these shades as well um there was another vendor out there that was selling some absolutely gorgeous jewelry i did get his card so this is his card for the jewelry and I got these earrings. They're like, you know, the little dangly kind. Super pretty. They're not uh, very inexpensive, though, because they are, I believe he said, 18 karat gold. But he makes these by hand. He hand designs all of the earrings. And these were so, so pretty to me. So I got those. Also, there was another vendor out there that was selling shirts and stuff. And he also had these beautiful kind of like African vibe um, fans. And honey, with me having my hot flashes right now, <laughs> I keep a fan with me at all times. But I thought this one was just really neat. You can see totally handmade. Um, he had so many different patterns, so many different styles of these fans. And this one was just so, so cute to me. So I grabbed that one. You know, I could take that like to festivals and outdoor things, you know, where I'm just sitting outside listening to music. Great to have. Now some uh, more affordable finds I wanted to share. I just got these earrings um not too long ago from target now target doesn't necessarily have the most inexpensive earrings but i found these cute little gold hoops they're like different designs different sizes shapes things like that that i thought were really really cute from this company called or this brand called wild fable and see there were only eight bucks eight bucks for all three pair and typically you don't even see one pair of earrings at Target for eight bucks. They've gotten out of hand with their pricing. But I also got these hoops. They're like different size of hoops. And I really like them. They're like the thick, chunky kind. And these were eight bucks as well. So yeah, if you're looking for some different types of hoops for the spring and the summer, Target has some that are, you know, not too, too, ex too, too expensive. Um, now I really do not buy shoes from Walmart. Okay. I go to Walmart and I'm like, you know, let me get <laughs> some tires, some cleaning products, you know, some underwear, maybe <laughs> things like that, but not shoes. But I was actually looking for some shoes that had a lower heel. Now I love wedges, but 
Um, when I put on super high wedges or higher wedges, such as like, let's say some like these, which are really cute, I tend to be taller than my husband. And although he's not short, you know, I'm a tall girl. I'm 5'7", and, you know, heels can kind of take me up there. So for the spring and summer, I really wanted some wedges with a shorter type heel. So I went ahead and grabbed these. I was in Walmart. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. I wore these already. These are super duper comfortable. Now these are for a wider foot, which I really don't need, but they were super comfortable. I also got these black ones, which are not for a wide foot. As you, you might be able to tell, they're a little bit more narrow. They're not quite as wide, but the black ones I thought were super cute as well. Something you can throw on with a cute little summer dress, you know, or some shorts, a t-shirt, whatever the case may be, and you're good to go. So I grabbed these. I think they might have been like 39 bucks a pair, but I don't feel too, too bad about the pricing because these are like super heavy. I could tell that they're, you know, not cheaply made, even though they are from Walmart. They're super heavy and I feel like they're going to last me for a good while. So yeah, I grabbed those. Just want to show there's, share those with you guys as well. Now to talk about a couple of fragrances that I have just really, really been loving. This Killian Angel Share. Every time I wear this, it's like, what do you have on? Oh my goodness, you smell so good. It's just, it smells delicious. It truly does. And it's a scent that I get a lot of compliments on. Now this Moon Carnival, this is from a brand called Wilhelm Perfumery in New York. I had never heard of them, but when my girl DJ was down here and we were doing some shopping at Saks, we came across this brand and we were smelling different ones in the Moon Carnival. Yo, it just, it fits my personality oh so well. It's so delightful. It smells amazing. So these two have definitely been some favorites right now. And then lastly, I wanted to talk about this one from Zara. It's called, what is it? Captivating, Captivatingly Paris. <laughs> and I actually bought this by accident. Bought it on a whim. Um, I was just looking for a different scent at Zara. Couldn't really find it, but I picked this one up and I just bought it by chance. I was like, oh my gosh, I wonder if this is going to smell good. And it actually smells amazing. So if you get a chance to smell that one in Zara, that one smells really nice as well. So yeah, I'll be sharing some other fragrances and different scents that I'm really, really loving with you guys, you know, just over time, because as you, as you can see, I have a lot of fragrances to go through, <laughs> but I typically kind of pull some out that I want to use for the season and things like that. So yeah, loving those. Now, as far as bag purchases, these are two of my latest purchases from Coach and I couldn't decide which one I wanted. I actually loved both of them. I loved both of them. My husband really liked this one because he liked the fact that it was different and kind of like, you know, a bag style purse, you know? And so I loved that, but I also really liked this one, you know, very nice, cute little leather strap here. And um, I just like, the style of this one, I think I would be more apt to gravitate to this one um, as far as using it on a regular basis. So it's a really, really nice purse, very durable. You guys know Coach has an amazing quality. It also comes with these additional uh, straps. They both come with the red, which I think is a really nice contrast um, along here with the camel color on there. And so this one has the red um strap as well and then it also has like this shorter handle here to hold the purse with if you want to use that so yeah this one actually has three different straps if i'm not mistaken um to go along with the purse but they're so so cute so so nice i love both of them and can't wait to really rock those with some outfits but those are super super cute 
So for those of you who are interested in how I got this makeup look and the products I used, stay tuned because that is coming up next. So for my makeup look today, I'm going to be using a few products that I have used over and over again that I really like, but I also have some new items in here that I haven't used before. My KVD powder, you guys know that's my favorite. Um, Juvia's Place, this is one of her new powders, the pressed powders. I'm going to be using that under my eyes. The L'Oreal Infallible, this is a darker shade that I like to use for bronzer. I do have this Nomad Royal Europe palette that they sent to me. You guys, this palette is gorgeous. I know you guys have probably already seen it. I'm on the late bus, but I cannot wait to play with that. My DJ's Unique Boutique Highlighter. I have a Jaclyn uh, Stick Blush. The Pat McGrath foundation, I have never used it before, but I'm gonna go ahead and try that out today. I have a new milk setting spray and primer that I'm excited to try out. This uh, infamous L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara, can't wait to try that. I have a Juvia's Place lip gloss and I'm gonna go in with my, my Old Faithfuls this e.l.f. hydrating concealer. So these are the items I'm going to be using in today's makeup look. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So this is the palette, you guys, this beautiful palette from Nomad Cosmetics. It is the Royal Europe. And you can see the packaging is actually textured. It is so gorgeous. And look at these shades. These shades are beautiful right up my alley. There's multi-chromes, as you can see. Just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm doing a pretty simple look today. I'm starting out with the shade. It's called Schoenbrunn Palace, if I'm pronouncing that correct. It's just a pretty neutral shade. I'm using that as my transition. Next, I'm going in with King's Room. It's a gorgeous dark teal shade. Um, very, very pretty color. Blends beautifully. Pigmentation is A1. As you can see, I'm just going in one time and blending that out in my inner and outer corners and just kind of dragging it through the center of my lid. Now for the lid, I'm going in with the shade Blue de France. Gorgeous, gorgeous multi-chrome. It has, it looks like blues and purples in it. So just using my finger to tap that on the lid. Like I said, very, very simple eye look today, but great impact. So next I'm trying out this L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara. Very interesting shape one, hard plastic. Um, I would say um, as I'm using it that it is a good mascara. I don't see anything miraculous with it, to be honest with you. It's just a really good mascara. For my lashes, I would say it gave me more volume than lift. I have some mascaras that give me more lift than this and make them a lot longer. So I would say this is a good one for me if I wanted more volume and thickness. But for length, it's not the best mascara I've ever used on my particular lashes, but it's not bad. So you can see for yourself, I'm going to go ahead and pop on some falsies though, because you know, that's what I'm used to now. So this is how it looks. Let's go ahead and pop these falsies on and move it along. So I'm going in with this milk makeup primer. This is a new one for me. This is called, what is it? The Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. So I love their primer that's the sticky one that they already had out, very nice. But this one is nice as well. I really, really like how it made my skin feel underneath my makeup, so definitely will be using that more. Now I'm going in with a concealer that I always use to conceal my problem areas on my face, my dark circles hyperpigmentation around my mouth. I don't really do the orange color corrector anymore. I've been using this concealer forever and it works great for me. So next we're moving into this Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Foundation. It's by no means new, but honey, it's new to me. And let me tell you, I am in love. <laughs> I love this foundation. It's very, very um, watery but the coverage and the finish yo it left my skin feeling and looking so nice it's not heavy looks great i think i did good with my color match um i have the shade medium deep 25 if you're curious i really really like it 
So I'm using my e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer today. Really, really nice concealer for brightening. I like the fact that it's not super drying or anything like that. So yeah, I have Deep Cinnamon. If you're curious, beautiful brightening shade for me. Blends out no problem with a damp sponge. And so, you know, I'm very familiar with this concealer. Very, very nice. Now to set it, I'm going in with this Juvia's Place Burkina. This is one of their pressed powders. I initially bought it to set my face because I have the foundation in Burkina, but this powder to me is much lighter than the actual foundation. So I had to use it under my eyes, child. I couldn't use that all over my face. So I went in with my Old Faithful, my KVD. <laughs> this is the Locket Setting Powder. Absolute favorite, favorite, favorite. I just have no desire to try a new face powder. I love this stuff. It's so bomb, okay? So let's go ahead and do some bronzing. I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Powder to bronze with. This is a darker shade, so I'm just using this, you know, to lightly bronze. Nothing too, too heavy for blush, y'all. This Jacqueline blush, oh my goodness. It's in a stick, which can be a little bit scary. Um, what shade is this? Royal Flush. But as you can see, a technique I use is just to put some on a brush, tap it out on my hand so I can see what's going on with the pigment, and then apply it to my cheeks so that I don't put too much blush. For me, it works out amazingly because I can build it up. I can put as little as I want or as much as I want without the stress of putting it directly on my face. Love it. Next, I'm using DJ's Unique Boutique's new highlighter. This one is in the shade Grace. Love it. Beautiful, beautiful bronzy gold shade. And I think it works well with my skin tone. So yeah, just applying that. And whenever I go in a little too ham, I use my finger to just kind of smooth it into my skin. And I love how that looks. You can see right there how pigmented it is. Absolutely gorgeous, okay? Now to set everything, I'm going in with this Milk Setting Spray. This is the Pore Eclipse Mattifying Spray. Got to shake it up real good, you guys. And I'm just going in with that. And I'm going to go ahead and just fan dry that before I move on, okay? So for the lower lash line, I wanted to keep it simple. This is a beautiful bright shade from my Beauty Creations liners absolutely gorgeous i think it's called razzle dazzle if i'm not mistaken and i wanted to just go in with the mascara i really didn't feel like putting any eyeshadow on my lower lash line today if you guys are familiar with me i do that quite often um, when I don't really want a whole lot of craziness going on so you can see with this mascara I feel like it actually works better for me on my lower lash line it makes more of an impact for me on my lower lashes so that's good like that a lot but this is the final look you guys full face done um, I did use my Sephora lip liner and I used my Juvia's Place Gloss today. Nothing outrageous, but this is my absolute favorite lip liner. If you're curious, it's the Sephora one in the shade Molasses. So that's it today, you guys. Quick look, full face. Love, love, love this palette. Okay. Earlier in the video, I mentioned to you guys how I really like <laughs> a lot of things, you know, and one of them being home decor. I wanted to share with you guys these chairs that I picked up from Amazon. I actually got two of them. The pillow is actually a purchase from Target, and that was from the Tabitha Brown collection when she had her items at Target. I'm not sure if she still has these or different ones or if it was just, you know, a one-time thing. But yeah, the pillow I got from Target, that was a Tabitha Brown uh, featured item, but the chair, came from Amazon and it is actually a really really nice quality chair very heavy very sturdy um, I got two of them like I said and I paid about 200 and something for them don't get don't quote me but I know for both of them I got them for about $500 so I love 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 these chairs I wanted to do something really simple in this corner it was just a plain little corner in my house but I wanted to add a little design to it. So 
picked up the chairs. I will link those in the description box if you're curious. This little table I got from Amazon as well, as well as the picture <laughs> up here. I Listen, I buy all kinds of stuff from Amazon, okay? So yeah, I will link whatever it is that I show in the video just in case you're curious about it. But I wanted to go ahead and come around here to the kitchen because I have also just purchased a new knife set, okay? Uh, hi, hubby, <laughs> if you guys don't know. That is my husband, smoking and Grilling with AB. He's here on YouTube as well, but he has a cookbook with Mr. Make It Happen. If you haven't picked it up, definitely grab yours. But yeah, that's hubby. Um, but I just purchased this knife set. I haven't used them yet, but I thought it was like a really nice looking set. It had almost five stars, and so I want to go ahead and try it. It has, you know, a whole variety of knives um, for me to check out. Maybe I'll do a little cooking segment for you guys <laughs> so you guys can see how they perform. But yeah, really, really nice set of knives. I've never heard of Mr. Cook before. But we're going to try them out, okay, Mr. Cook, and we're going to see how they do. But I feel like they look really, really nice um, in my kitchen. Currently, I do have, you know, like these walnut brown type cabinets. I plan on getting those redone soon, but right now I'm working with what I got, and I actually really, really like them. So, yeah, those are nice. If you're looking for a new knife set, I am going to uh, try those out see how they work, see how they last, but I will link them just in case you like them a lot. And then lastly, I wanted to show this because I just thought this was so stinking cute. It is so cute. It is actually a coffee mug, but it looks like a purse. <laughs> so as you can see, it is just so adorable, but it's an actual coffee or tea mug that looks like a purse on Amazon, of course. And then it has a little saucer with the spoon that it comes with in gold. I believe they had different um, colors, but I'm not sure, but I believe they do. And so the saucer, it actually looks like a little clutch, you know, a little clutch purse, which is just, it's just too adorable. So I love this. I will link this as well, just in case, you know, you like it and you wanna get one for yourself. But I thought that was super duper adorable. So that's all I have to share for today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for checking it out. And I will see you on the next one. Toodles!